before we get started, I just want to take a minute to remind everybody how special each and every one of you is. You are a unique beauty, unlike any other, and I love you. Good morning, darling. Wait, don't panic. No, just stop moving. You're all right. You're in your bed and I'm not here to hurt you. I know you, you don't know who I am, but you don't have to worry. Now I, I just want you to know that it works. Your thesis on quantum entangled time particles, your theory on traveling back in time, it was successful. And you will be appreciated as a, a genius of our era. The new Einstein. The new Hawking. The great, well, you. God, it, it's so weird to see you like this. I'm a student of yours in a few decades from now, so I'm used to seeing you much older than me. But this is far from bad. How long from now do you get it to work? Oh, I'm sorry. You've, well, you've made a few rules for travelers. For example, don't mention any specific dates in the future with specific events. It might cause a branch in the timeline that's just not supposed to exist. A few other rules include not meeting yourself and not killing anyone in the past and some other ways to prevent paradoxes. It's so important to follow them, but... I can't tell you all of them. I'm actually breaking one just by talking to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm breaking the rules. Your life is one of the few that travelers aren't supposed to interfere with. They say that you made that rule because you changed your own past and got stuck in the past. But you told me that it was because you once met another traveler. And they told you a few of the rules. You might have been my professor, but it was, it is, a bit more than that for me. I can admit it, that I, I was in love with you. I spent years delaying my graduation just to follow your courses again, just so I could see you more. And when you noticed, you offered me a job at your research station. It was my dream, you know? I was your assistant, helping you calculate trips back in time, gathering materials, finding artifacts, and uncovering what history was truly like. We even did an experiment where we broke the rules to create an alternate timeline. It was amazing, going on adventures with you through the sea of time. But that brings me back to why I'm here. In your drafty apartment where you've been hoping for a scholarship at some school that you ran out of business a long time ago. Did that sentence make sense? The present talking to the past, or in your case to the future, can sometimes be a little strange. My yesterday is years away for you, and your tomorrow is decades ago for me. I'm pretty sure I wasn't even born yet at this date. Let me check. Do you have a calendar? Wow. Five days from now I'll be born. It seems we've got nearly a week then. A, a week for what? Well, my dear, that, that one is easy to answer. A week to make your life so much better than it ever was before. I've brought the equivalent of several million dollars in value in order to pay your expenses. In the next five days, we're going to spend as much of it as needed to make your life better. First up is a house. The genius of our age can't be expected to stay in a drafty apartment on the 14th floor when you're so scared of heights. Yes, I, I know about that. Remember, I've known you for years already. You just haven't met me before. Now, the money I brought won't be enough to pay your expenses for the invention, but 
I'm sure that it'll buy you enough time and comfort to create your thesis. And from there, all you'll need is the right investor. I, I can't tell you what company it is, but it'll be a big one. Remember to read the contract fully, though. Those businessmen are tricky. And you always used to say that you might have taken a deal from a different company if you had read the fine print. Why am I doing all this for you? Because you're my idol. You're amazing and the greatest mind of the next century. All that and I'm still in love with you. I've loved you for years. But you'll think you're too old for me. And don't want to feel like you're taking advantage of me. So I decided to return back in time to the day that we're the same age as each other. At this moment, the difference in our ages should be less than a month. And if we're the same age, then nothing stops you from loving me now, right? You don't know me. That's right. That's the only problem. Which is why I brought the money. I'm going to make your life better, as I said. But for the next five days, I'll also be taking you on dates every night. I checked and your schedule is free for the next five days. There's nothing stopping you from enjoying yourself to the fullest. And there's nothing stopping me from, well, seducing you as much as I possibly can. Yes, seducing you. I won't have you spending the next few years in comfort, hunting other men. I'm yours if you wait for me, and I'm going to give you a taste of everything I have to offer. All my love for you? Uh, you're just... You're my darling. And I'll make sure that you know that it's okay to be with me. Because I fully consent to it. I'm willing to break all the rules just to be with you. That's what I want to prove. And, and if I prove that, maybe you'll be willing to love me back later in your life. Back in the present. Back in your future. If I have to, I'll come back again and again, proving how much I love you time and time again, until you truly believe me. Until you accept that I love you, and that I would do anything to be with you. If I plan it properly, I'll spend so much time in the past that I might even be the same age as you in the future as well. And then we can date for sure. Now, let's get you up and running. I made you breakfast and coffee, which you can eat in bed. I didn't raid your fridge. It's, it's all fresh. And then, when you finish your breakfast, we'll go out and buy you a house. Anything you like. And then make a plan about what to do with the next few days. And then, this afternoon, well, you're going to need a tailored suit, darling. Can't have you dressing in any rags that are unworthy of the greatest mind in the world. The one that I love.